I'm waiting for a mutation. One that will allow me to harness electromagnetic energy and then redirect it for optimal bad guy eradication. I'm waiting for a top secret super soldier serum for alien cybernetic implants to be accidentally exposed to radioactive waste. <laughs> However it happens, I'm still waiting for my superpowers. And so, I know what you're all thinking. Sam, you have got to get out of your parents' basements. <laughs> My folks threw me out at 15. I remember that night perfectly, digging for blankets in trash bags. I found a handwritten note. This doesn't mean we don't love you anymore. Mom, and if my powers had chosen that moment to manifest, I would have either been the human garbage disposal, able to leech sustenance from dumpsters, or the street geek, invisible to mall security, coffee shop owners, and librarians, so I could have had somewhere to hang out and read without feeling homeless. I am well into my 20s now, and I know I should probably start hiding the comic books under the bed and get like a Maxim for the coffee table. But if I took you to my house now, we would find the following. Issues of the Uncanny X-Men, the entirety of Transmetropolitan, Longshot, Sandman, Squee, Fable, and Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. And if you, a stranger, actually asked me what keeps these so-called graphic novels on my shelves amid so-called higher literature, I might not tell you that I actually believe I am destined to be a superhero. But just look around. Whole blocks, whole neighborhoods emitting an ominous blue glow. Entire high school art budgets eradicated. Radio stations worldwide broadcasting the same seven songs. If that is not some Lex Luthor shit, <laughs> it is time to sing loud the praise of any heroism, to sing loud the praise of anyone willing to risk reminding mankind that our lives are the only source of myth. So remember Batman, godfather of goth, his frame by frame gospel ink, proof that it can be hot to be dark. Especially if you got an alter ego and a costume. Remember Wolverine, motherfucking punk rock, mosh pit, meat grinder, reminder that you're gonna spend three decades plus suffering from unrequited love and still claim to be a badass? It's not a bad idea to ride a motorcycle or to have adamantium claws. Remember the web sling of the buildings from the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man prototypical hipster snapping photos reminded us it is not just poets, prophets, and peace workers who need day jobs to sing loud. Because I can tell that we have all got a lot of road left ahead of us and that some nights it is going to be so cold we will be snatched from sleep by the chatter of our own teeth hang on to whatever hopes and heroes have brought you all this far because we are going to need every single one of you dreamers if the next generation is ever going to find a reason to believe. <laughs>